Question 26. On a grid, draw the graph of y is equal to 3x add 2 from negative 2 to 2. So I would use a table for this. So I would, get, I would do a table here. And I would say that I would have up here my x value and here my y value. Now in my table, I'm going from negative 2 to 2. So I'll start negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 or 2. And now I've got to work out the y value. Now don't worry about working out the y values for negative, right? Do it for the positives and watch what happens. If you put in x is 1 in here, 3 times 1 is 3, add 2 is 5. Here, if you put in 2 here into here, 3 times 2 is 6, add 2 is equal to 8. Put in 0, 3 times 0 is 0, add 2 is equal to 2. Now you'll spot they're going up in 3s because of this 3x, in fact. They're going up in 3s, so this one must be 3 less than that. If they're go, like going that way, must be going down in 3s. So this is negative 1, and going down in another 3 would be negative 4. Okay, so all we do then is we draw some axes. So let's draw some axes here. Something like this. like that. So what we're going to plot, we're going to plot the point negative 2, negative 4, negative 2, negative 4. We're going to plot negative 1, negative 1. We're going to plot 0 and 2. We're going to plot 1 and 5. And we're going to plot 2 and 8. So 4 picks up here. And we're going to put a line through them as follows. And make sure we label our axes. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis, and we're done. Also, you could know, if you know your form of graph, this is the graph y is equal to 3x add 2, we know that the graph will cross the y-axis at 2, 0, uh, so 0, 2 even, okay, and indeed it does, and we know the 3 is telling us the gradient is 3, so you go across 1, you must go up 3, across 1, up 3, that's another way of doing that question.